question number 30 coming from National Mass Count Spring Round Competition 2017. Uh, let's take a look at the question first. In the figure shown, the two lines intersect at a right angle, just like axis, x axis, y axis, doesn't matter. These two intersection line is going to be perpendicular to each other. And then we draw two sem semicircle, one uh, using this line as the diameter. The other smaller circle, the diameter coincide with the second line. So the intersecting at one point, and the smaller circle is just uh, divide the larger in a semicircle into you see the smaller semicircle intersect the larger semicircle divide the larger semicircle arc this arc this is going to be one this is a five one to five not the area the arc so we want to find the smaller circle uh, for the radius the larger circle the radius is one we want to find the radius of the smaller one. So first of all, you can see the large circle has been cut into, and uh, let's just copy this diagram. Okay, this, um, the large circle has been cut uh, 5 to 1 for the length of the arc. This is going to be 5, this is uh, 1. So that being said, the arc measurement total is 180 degrees. So this, the smaller arc, will be one six of the one six uh, 180. One out of six multiplied by 180 degrees because the semicircle, the measurement is going to be 180 degrees. Okay. So this a smaller arc will be 30 degrees. If I really connecting uh, from the center, the large circle center to the intersection point over here, you will get this central angle with the same as measurement as this arc, which is 30 degrees. Okay. So this is going to be the radius is 1, this is also radius 1 and 30 degrees if I draw a right triangle certainly you're going to get this intersection point, I can draw the right triangle here you can see the length right here, this is not really drawn a scale but this is going to be 1 half because that's facing the 30 degrees so this is a half of a square root 3 and these are related to the smaller radius. If I can write this part in terms of uh, the small radius, and then you get the equation square root 3 over 2 plus this blah blah r equal to 1, and then we can just solve the radius of the smaller circle. So let's see the diagram here. And the BOC is going to be 30 degrees as we mentioned earlier because that's a cut the circle the large circle into 1 to 5 so this is 1 out of 6 of 180 so the central angle is the same as the measure of this arc BC 30 degrees so if you look at this triangle and the AC will be 1 half and OA will be square root 3 over 2 okay so let's take a look at this a smaller circle. This a center is a we call O2. O2B, based on the question, this will be tangent point, tangent line. O2B tangent to the larger semicircle. The intersection C, the point C to this center O2, certainly that's going to be radius. So this is a radius R, this is a radius R. Immediately, the only possibility, 
the O2C will be the tangent line of the larger semicircle. Okay, it cannot be uh, secants. Okay, because if let's say there's going to be have some other intersection point, that's not possible because based on the power of a point, the or you can use the par uh, the tangent from a point outside of the circle will have the same distance for the two tangents. Let's say this one is not tangent, we will get the other one. Let's say O2C prime is equal to R. But that's not possible uh, uh, based on the power of a point. So this one O2C must be a tangent of the larger semicircle. So that being said, this OC will be perpendicular to this tangent line O2C. So this is going to be right angle. So OC perpendicular to O2C. If I have two angles, if the corresponding edges of the two angles are perpendicular to each other, let's say this edge perpendicular, the other edge also perpendicular. So these two angles will be equal. That's a very simple result because let's say call this angle 1, this angle 2, right? So angle 1 is going to be equal to 90 minus this uh, shared vertical angle. Angle 2 equal to the shared vertical angle as well. So that's why this angle 2 and angle 1 both complementary to the vertical angles. So that's why the angle 1 and angle 2 will be equal. So remember the very important fact, if the two same type of angle both are acute or both obtuse angle. If their edges are perpendicular to each other, I mean the corresponding sides perpendicular to each other, to two angles will be equal. So for these two angles, O B perpendicular to uh, uh, perpendicular O two D. O C perpendicular to O two C. So that's why these two angles, this angle and this angle, will be equal in that case. So we can find out this will be 30 degrees as well, immediately. Okay. So CO2D is 30 degrees. So things become easy now. You will find out uh, CD will be equal to half over R. This is half of R, R over 2 for CD based on the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So the AB will be equal to R over 2 as well. That's parallel. If this one equal to half of R and this is equal to square root 3 over 2, we already know that because this is also 30, 60, 90 triangle. And then the longest uh, side will be 1, the radius. Certainly you can find out OA equal to square root 3 over 2. But this is the radius of the larger semicircle. So you just add these two together. You set up an equation about R. Okay, You can see I'm going to set up the equation square root 3 over 2 plus 1 half of r equal to 1. Okay, and then you should get the answer. You see, over here we said OC and O2C is perpendicular, and also the corresponding angle is going to be equal. CO2D is 30 degrees, and then CD equal to 1 half of r because the longest side, the hypotenuse, equal to r. CD facing the 30 degree angle, so CD equal to 1 half R. AB equal to half of R as well because that's parallel. And then AC is equal to 1 half. We, we don't really care about that. 
but we can get a a o a is square root three over two, and then set up this equation, and then you get this uh, simple equation about the uh, uh, variable r. That's the linear equation. What I really need to do is just multiply by r uh, by two. So this will be square root three. This is uh, r. This is two. And then you just subtract square root 3 on both sides, this is square root 3. And then you get the radius of the smaller semicircle. So that's it.